In this video, I'll be showing you how to crack zip and ra passwords. Let's get right into this. Before we go ahead, remember to only perform password cracking on files you own. And if you're attempting security tests or penetration tests, make sure you have clearly written permissions from the organization you're attempting these tests on. So zip and ra files are compressed files and they are used to compress data and reduce file sizes into a smaller size. And one of the ways you can protect your zip and RAR files is with a password. So I have a note here. This is where I store my notes and I've compressed this into a zip file with a password and a RAR file with a password. So the way to do this in your Linux machine is right click on the notes or on the file and create an archive. And you can set the archive type and set the password here. So you can do this similarly on your Windows machine with WinZip or with WinRAR. So the first thing we want to do is get the hash of these files. I'll be starting with the zip file and what you want to do use for this is John the Ripper. So you have John the Ripper pre-installed in Kali. I'll leave a link to John in the description below so you can get this set up. So there is a command in John the Ripper called zip to John, zip to John. And what this does is it helps you get the hash of a zip file. So zip to John, and I'm going to tell it the name of the zip file. So that's notes.zip. And I'll save the output of the hash into zip.txt. And this is done. Let's see what's in zip.txt. And we have the hash here. So let's get the hash for our RAR file as well. I'm going to do RAR to John. And we'll just do the same thing notes.rar. I'll save the output into ra.txt. And let's take a look at our ra hash. And we have this here. So the next thing we'll be doing is using hashcat to crack these hashes. But first, we need to edit the hashes to a format that hashcat will understand. So let's open the zip.txt. And I'm just going to get rid of everything before the dollar sign and everything after the dollar sign. So all these are information about the hash, but everything before and after the dollar sign is the hash itself. So let's save this and let's do the same thing for the RAR file. So the RAR file doesn't have a dollar sign at the end, but everything before the dollar sign at the beginning is just info and we can get rid of that. So let's save this and let's Open a new tab so we can do hashcat help to show the help information for hashcat. So the first thing we want to do is use a dictionary attack to crack these hashes. So a dictionary attack is using a word list of commonly used passwords or particular passwords you've gathered that might be the password of the hash you want to crack and Hashcat will go through all that list. This might be a list of 1,000 words or 5,000 passwords or 10,000 passwords. And it will go through all those passwords till it finds the correct hash password. So the option for that is the attack mode. And if we scroll up here, we can see the different attack modes. So we want to be using the straight attack mode. And this is the dictionary attack mode also called the word list attack mode. So the option for that is A0. And the next thing we want to find is the hash type. So we have the zip and RAR file and Hashcat has different hash types called hash modes. So you want to specify the particular hash mode you want to crack. So if we scroll down here, we can find the hash mode for zip and RAR files. So this is for RAR, that's 13,000. 
and this is for zip 13,600. So I'll take note of that as well. And the last thing I want to do is get our word list. I have set lists here and I have a list called rocky.txt. So this is a popular list for commonly used passwords and I'm going to be using this to crack our hash. So now that I have all that in place, what I want to do is create the hashcat command to crack my zip hash. So I made a mistake when I was editing my um, zip hash. I was meant to stop after this dollar sign, not this dollar sign. So let's copy this again. And I'll put this in my zip.txt. So now that we have the correct hash, I'll run hashcat again. So hashcat, the attack mode, which is a word list, that's 0 -m, That's the hash mode 13,600 for zip the zip.txt where my hash is saved and my word list let's hit enter and let's wait for this to run so hashcat is done cracking the password and we have the password for the zip file as admin so let's try to open this and i'll put in admin and this opens our notes. So yeah, we've been able to crack the zip file. Let's see if we can crack the RAW file. So let's um, clear the screen first. Then I'll go back to our command. And we'll change the mode to 13,000, which is the mode for RA. And I'll change the hash location to RA.txt, where we saved the hash of our RAW file. So we'll also use rocky.txt for the word list and let's run this. So this is done and hashcat found the password and the password for this is password. So let's try this. Uh, I'll try a wrong password. Let's try admin for this and this doesn't work. Let's try password and we are able to open our notes so yeah that's how you crack ra and zip passwords the first thing you need to do is get the password with zip to john and ra to john then load the hash and your word list with the attack type and the hash mode into hashcat to crack your hash and zip password so yeah that's how to do this and if you want to encrypt your zip and raw files make sure you use very strong passwords and make sure you keep your files safe and only send files to who you intend to send them to don't leave them public on the internet if they don't need to be so that'll be all for today i hope you learned something new from this and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions about this leave them in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video